success the outcome are you here with me do you understand what i'm trying to say all those things what is it that is the power of god no more there has he gone on holiday or he selects people now to answer their prayer oh are you here with me does he select people now the bible says he's not a respecter of anyone but he that comes to him must know that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. the greatest problem of this country are christians i'm telling you if we christians to change our ways today the old system will change you say no i'm not taking that bribe no 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 i'm not no 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 i'm not forging that paper no i'm not going that way if we take a stand today this whole thing with god corrupt we change if everyone at the airport there behave like those two what do you think will happen to the image of nigeria it will change as you are coming in, the customer will start to greet you. What have you brought for us? <laughs> what can we have? How long did you spend abroad? When you say so, 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 eh, 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 okay, start begging. And you discover that most of those money they get, now pepper soup, then go to, go use them for, wait, am I talking? Listen, I want a new generation of Christians that will stand on the word of God, that will stand on the promises of God and say no to sin. And say no to him. We have played religion for too long. Those who think it's common sense for one to sit down and appraise one's life, this Christian life said that I'm following Christ. Am I for real? You have to assess it. If you know it's not paying, then you just you take and you. Am I? Are you here? He's not playing this double game, playing this one, and you want him to bless you and to do what he assess with your living standards. In fact, they have modeled up everything today. You will see somebody smoking in their hand. And they say, hallelujah. There was this song that came up some time ago. Somebody, is, is, it was a long time ago now. He fought something. I think it was in London. And the chorus of that song is, hallelujah, hallelujah, something, hallelujah. Today now, the Christian song, you cannot even find holiness in some of them anymore. You can't even find purity in any one of them anymore. Because everything has been modeled up. And do you know that some generations, some people are confused. Which one to go? Where was the real one? What are we to do? That is why in this place, you will not hear any other thing than Jesus Christ. No other thing. No other thing. I know that you come to, to dance, to worship God. But let's let's sit down. Let's talk to ourselves. This God that you serve, can you trust him? Is he trustworthy? Can you follow him truly? If the answer is yes, you set it with you. This man, Taisho Lani, was a Christian before, before he became an atheist. He settled his case. He said, God, I want a job, and I want the job in so and so place. At so so time. If you do not give me that job, I won't serve you again. You have heard of that story. Can I see your hand up? 
He said, if you do not, and they did not take him, he got the job, but not where he said. And that was the end of Christianity to him. Listen. That one, he settled his case. He was not playing games. The best thing is for us to sit down and appraise our lives. Should I continue to serve this guy? I do not see. But you know what? It will forever remain God. <laughs> whatever happened, whatever this is, anybody makes, it will forever remain God. We have read about people that he showed himself strong on their behalf. And even in Today, I've had a testimony. Somebody just came up. The job he did not apply for, he got it. <laughs> and listen, he was supposed to leave the other job to uh, next week, Friday. That was the last day. I was thinking what to do and so on and so forth. And the other one came up. Listen, God is still performing miracles. God is still proving himself strong on behalf of those that trust him. No matter what is happening out there, God is still God. And he's showing himself strong on behalf of those that honor him. Are you ready to honor God with your lifestyle? Listen. Ladies, I know that some of you are under pressure to sleep with a man that is not your boyfriend. That, that is not your husband. And there is a false doctrine that is coming up now that if a man says, I will marry you, then you are free to sleep. Listen, if the man gives you drinks, the engagement drinks, himself, you are still not bearing his name. Anything can still happen. So one of the tests of character is to say no to the appearance of sin. Is to say no. At least you have control. In some offices, it's your guy that says, okay, this is what you do and so on and so forth. And you find yourself helpless in some situation. But this one is you. Jonathan was nobody. He went to a remote village and he became the president. So no matter your story, God can still change it. Hello? No matter where you find yourself, maybe you're under pressure because you come from a very poor background. Listen to me. There are so many stories you have been hearing about how God turned the lives of people around. I've been reading on the internet. There's one lady that says he sells bread along this apata. She has a PhD now. And one of the best from that university. God can still change your situation. He can change circumstances. It doesn't take him. When is your time? When is your turn? He turns to you. So what you do? You wait for your turn. You wait for your time. Times and seasons. Because do you know that, ladies, you say, my friend, this one got married last year. This one got married two years ago. Now, this year, I must marry you. I must marry you. <laughs> time and season. Your own time will come. I say your time will come. I say your time will come. I see your time will come. I see your time will come. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. For those of you that are not members of this, that's the message we preach in this church. <laughs> Somebody came in here and he was not coming again. They asked her. He said, in that, that church, they only preach Jesus, 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 Jesus. He said, what else? And you know, they want this motivational speaking. You will make it. Now, arise. 
Get yourself. Do this one. Listen to me. If you wake up like Dan Gote, and you read the books Dan Gote reads, and you tell the this is only God can make you to be like Dan Gote. All those sources, all those uh, multiple something. The God factor. The God factor. The God factor. And we rise on our feet. Our prayer will be like a confession. Adam had a trust issue. Trust issue. The devil came to him and said, Do you think, uh -uh, when God told him, the one that created him, and made him to be the head of everything, he said, Do you think, trust issue? I want you to say, Lord, I trust you. Grant me more grace to trust you more. Lord, as from now, I will depend on you and I will follow you totally. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? Can you say that? Ask for more grace to trust God the more. Tell him that you trust him, but you need more grace. 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 You need more grace to trust God the more. To trust God the more. He that did not withhold Jesus Christ. The giving up. Will he not give us any of that good thing? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally. And this is a commitment, though, and this is serious. As from now, I will depend on you. Lord, as from now, I will depend on you. I will not do it my way. I will depend on you. Can you just make that commitment to God? Can you just tell God, I will depend on you. I will trust you. In all my ways, I will acknowledge you. In all my ways, I will acknowledge you. In all my ways, I will put my total trust in you. You will be my father. You will be my God. You will be my father. You will be my God. You will be my father. You will be my God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen to me. There was this brother. He had attempted to commit suicide three times. Because nothing was working for him. His, his friends, they have gone far. He came one time and I said, will you have patience? Will you trust this God? Will you believe in him? Your time will come. Your time will come. Ah, Pastor, I say your time will come. Just hold on. Six months down the line. A year down the line. Second year down the line. The third year. He came with a proposal. Who was sitting downstairs then. He said, he's going to Kaduna to go and try some things out. I said the Lord will be with you. This is the season that the Lord is talking about. He got there at Kaduna, things did not work out. Somehow, somehow, he found his way back to Abuja. But before he left, the proposal, he brought it. I said, take it to the altar. He took it to the altar. He made a statement I can never forget. He said, Lord, be a father to me and I will be a good son to you. He said, be a father to me. I will be a good son to you. And you know, when he got to Abuja, the first season that came upon him, 100 million naira. 
Listen. When you saw this building just coming up, some people said the money was coming from abroad. The money, it was this fellow that was 10 million, 7 million. <laughs> listen, listen. Someone is here, your season is about now. Can you tell God, God, be a father to me and I will be a good son to you. Listen. This is a serious commitment. Listen. When you ask God, God, this is what I will do. He's faithful on his part. Oh. Don't be unfaithful. Be a father to me and I'll be a son to you. So you say, I'm a lady. Ah, yes. <laughs> he created them male and female and he called them Adam. <laughs> Can you just make that final commitment before I have my seat? Season of unexpected, spectacular miracle is about to come up. Ah. Unexpected, spe sudden, spectacular miracle is about to come up. Tell God, I will be a good son. I will be a good daughter to you. Be a good father to me. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. I join faith with you this evening. As you have confessed and as you have asked God that he should be a good father to us, that we shall be a good son. Let everyone stamp it. In the name of Jesus. Grace to fulfill our part. Receive it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Right now, clap for Jesus. I said, Jesus. All right, let's do it this way. Can you celebrate the grace of God on our daddy? Put your hands together. All right, worship us in the house. Can you clap your hands to Jesus? Hallelujah. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The reason why you are still living, I thought you would stand to your feet. We are celebrating Jesus, the creator of the universe. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Lord is good. You may be seated. And if you are led to stand with us, I'm sure you will do that. Like I told us, sometimes it go. We are not here to do special number. We are here to lead you to worship God. To worship God. And that is what we are here to do. He is God. And uh, something came to my mind. I've had, we've had about uh, Abrahamic blessings or covenants. And we had about the Mosaic covenant and stuff like that. But just, I think, Friday night. I was just reading through my one of my favorite portion of the scripture that motivates me to worship. And God told me about uh, <laughs> please don't laugh. A jobic worship. You know what I said? Job. A jobic worship. It's one of the most strange worship that I've ever seen. And I don't know if we have worship like that in the house tonight. Most of our times, we, we are moved and motivated to worship. If you can just point to, oh, God did this to me. Father, I worship you. You just give me a new job. Father, I worship you. You just got me a new husband, a new house. Father, I worship you. But that is not the reason why we should worship. We give thanks for all those things. We worship God because of who he is despite and in spite of whatever. And as a very young boy, I put myself into Job's shoe, and I'm still asking myself, like that is say which was the other time, will I do the same thing? But I pray what Job, what Job went through, I won't go through it in Jesus' name. If you are with your phone, just open your Bible. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1. We will not read everything. But I hope that we try to watch it. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1. If you read the verse, verse 1, the Bible says there was a man in the land of Uz 
whose name was what? Job. And the Bible says something. This man was perfect and what? Upright. And what? And one that feared God and turned away from evil. From my King James Version, he said, he eschewed evil. This man detests evil. He doesn't touch sin. He can smell sin from afar. He doesn't touch it. And the Bible keeps talking about two, three, four, five. It talks about how rich this man was. The number of his sons, of his daughters, the oxen, the horses, and everything he has. In the land of Uz, at that point in time, this man was the richest. He's a multi billionaire So everything happened. And please, let's go to verse 13. Verse 13. Where it all started. And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and, dr and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. What happened? And that came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. Please let's move. And a servant fell upon them and took them away. Yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I, the messenger that came to tell Job, I only am escaped alone. Just come and break the bad news to you. Let's continue. While he was here speaking, that man was breaking the bad news to Job. He was here speaking. The Bible said, there also came another and said, the fire of God is falling from heaven and had burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only have escaped to come and tell you. 17. Why that one too was just speaking? The same day, there came also another and said, the Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away. Yeah, and slain the servants in the edge of the sword. And what? I only, this same man alone, was remain escaped to come and tell you. Verse 18. While he was here speaking, you know, just like different companies, different arms of his properties, that he has managers, the manager was just coming around to come and break the news of how he lost everything. While he was speaking, there came also another manager and said, thy sons and thy daughters were eating. All the children were eating, drinking wine in their headed brother's house. Continue. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house where they were enjoying themselves. And it fell upon the young men. And the what? They are dead. And I only... So this man lost everything in less than an hour. God forbid it was you and I. So after Job had all these things, what did he do? Verse 20. The Bible says, And Job arose, and did what? Rented his mantle, and shaved his head, and fell upon the ground. And what? I trust Nigeria. Ah. You know, <laughs> Jake. Yeah. Ah. You know, Joe, you know, you know, you know, you know, even people come around and say, ah, he God gives, ah, and they go back to, you know, is it because it's not everything? And I keep asking myself, Sam, will you do the same thing? So tonight, I know, even me, you know, there was a time I was just laughing. Sometimes when I go through people's WhatsApp studies, I just start to laugh. I saw one... Somebody just posted that uh, don't look at my my attire, something like that. I am very broke. I was just laughing. I don't like my uniform. So tonight, don't like my suit. I won't look at yours too. I know everybody is going to one thing or the other. But you forget all those this time around. And we will worship. Just like you. That's why I said it's your big worship. The worship that you do despite all you are going through. And do you know, because this man did this, you won't read all those things tonight. You know the story of the man. God restored him in thousand folds. And that is what your story and my story will be tonight. Because we are going to worship. I want, don't want to get too familiar with familiar songs we are. We, we are. Just, just get along with the lyrics. We want to extol him. 
we want to we want him to know that we recognize and acknowledge the fact that he is God either you are good or you are bad he is God either I'm broke or you are broke it doesn't change the fact that he is God no matter what you are going through what I'm going through it does not affect the G the of the O and D it will still be God if I'm no more today it will not affect his name Another thing, if you refuse not to worship tonight, somewhere, somewhere, some places tonight, some people leave their hands, they will worship. And if they too refuse, you know what will happen? The Bible says the stones, while I'm still living, you are still living, and the stone will start worshiping. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Anyone that knows God is God tonight, can you lift your hands tonight? When you lift your hands, it means you are surrendering to God. But God, I know you are God. If I worship you, you are God. If I don't, you are God. But I will worship you so that you will come to my aid, so that you will reach out to me. If you are learned to stand to your feet, just stand to your feet, lift your hands and worship. If you are learned to go on your knees, just worship. If you want to sit down, just close your eyes, lift your heart, lift your voice, lift your hands and worship him tonight. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Awesome God, how great you are. You are God, mighty are your miracles. We're standing on your holy name holy name lord we bow and worship you awesome god how great you are you are you are god you mighty are your miracles, miracles, we're standing up of your holy name, holy name, Lord, we bow and worship. The song is for everyone, not for the choir. Sing with me. Awesome God. Everybody lift your voice. How great you are. You are God, you are God, mighty are your miracles, tonight we're standing all of your holy name, Lord we bow, we bow, Lord we bow, and walk, open your mouth and give your shot, awesome God, awesome God. Come and feel this room with worship. If you have not turned, give us that open your mouth. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great you are. Only you, only you are God. Mighty are your miracles. We're standing on
and worship. Come on, just go ahead and worship him. Lift your hands up. Come on, say something to your maker. Acknowledge his mighty hands upon your life. Come on, give him a worship. We want, we worship. You are God, you are God, you, you, you. There is none like you, there is none like you. You are, you are. Come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Say something, say something, Lord. You, 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 you. You are God, you are God. Yeah, you tonight Lord your majesty oh your majesty come on call him majesty your ma your majesty your majesty your ma my, your majesty, 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 your your majesty, 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 your majesty,
You're my test. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're clapping those hands for your maker, I want you to Hallelujah. do better. Hallelujah. I want you to do better. Is that the best that you can give Jesus? Is that the best you can give to your maker? The one that has freely given you all things. The one who you have your being in. I want you to give better. I want you to do it better. I want you to worship Yahweh. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we exalt your name in this place. It's not about who you are. It's about who God is. That's what we have just been told. We know that our case is eternally settled in Christ. Therefore, we have no cause to worry. Therefore, we have no cause to fear. Because we know that everything is eternally settled for us. God has done this thing for us. And we believe. And we have confidence in God and His Word. And we know that His Word will come to fullest manifestation in our lives. Father, we exalt your name in this place this evening. We say, hallowed be your name, Jesus. For you alone deserve all our praise. And we lead our voice in worship of your holy name. Mahandrali katele pehero shatayaba Eke kele prana haro si kale ma soti endosha Mahani brani haro shandai agos Ena hakataya brani garo si andai agos Eke kele prana garo sanda hani brano sha Eke li prana mazi andali mahatele hosh Eke le prana magana garo shandai garo sha Ela na 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 li brano si kaya garo sanda yavano sha Father, we exalt your holy name, Jesus. The books of Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. All that is within me, bless the holy name of the Lord. That I will bless the name of the Lord passionately with everything that's within me. I'm gonna bless the name of the Lord and forget not his benefits. He who has forgiven your iniquities and he let all thy diseases who crown out your head with loving kindness and tender mercies. The name of the Lord we praise the Lord. We worship and adore your name with everything that we have. We lift our voices to you today. We worship you with reckless abandon, Lord. We are not holding back. We give everything to worship you. 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 We are not looking at the things around us. But we know that it is you that has really given us all things. And we use everything that is within us to bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We exalt you. I give my to praise your name I give my all in worship of you I give my all to praise your holy and mighty name Jesus I give my all to praise your name I give my all in worship of you i give my all to praise your holy and mighty i don't know if anybody's ready to praise i give my all to praise your name i give my all in worship of you
Son of God, be glorified. The Son 
song I love so much that I'm going to sing right now. And it's a very simple song that you can actually sing as well. It is you proclaiming what the Hello. one person wants back. Oh. Whatever it is that the devil has stolen, oh. the Lord said that he's going to restore all the years that the Kangawa has sitting. So we are prophesying and saying that we are taking it back. Ooh. Irregardless of whatever, we are taking it back. That is what we believe and we know that we are getting it back. Yes, hallelujah.
while we are in your presence let it rain your rain let it fall on us we are in your presence let it rain Turn my life around, you change me. 
You gave me a brand new song to sing. Yes, you are the living God. Yes, no one like you. Yes, I So that I won't. What are the characteristics of worship? What will be your response? Before God and man, that was not after church this afternoon. We just we were just here trying to realize a bit before I went to relax. That was the question that came to my mind. And I was while I was where I was relaxing, you know, when I got there, the music was playing on the TV. I tried to change to a Christian channel. So I put a throw pillow on the floor and I lay my head. And I heard Bishop Henry Jackson saying, <laughs> God is beautiful. <laughs> ah. He said one of the major characters. I was Father Steve. I was like, ah. he's a black American. He said one of the major characteristics of miracle, I mean, of worship is miracle. You know, said miracle jump starts a turn around in the life of a man. You know, and when we talk about miracle, when we worship and say, Oh, go miracle that's happened, you have worshiped probably two, three weeks, nothing, you would not, not probably nothing changed. Believe nothing has happened, like what daddy said. 
what we see as miracle these days is money. You don't know when your friend, a friend around you, something good happened to him, is a miracle to you. Somebody say, when God is doing something good to your friend or around you, that God is in the neighborhood. And when he's in the neighborhood, he comes to this man, come to this man, definitely he's coming to you. While I was jumping here, God told me I should tell people. That there are few people here that shame is looming around you. I'm not a prophet. You didn't tell me that you are a man or a woman. That shame is hanging somewhere. That if nothing happens, if something does not happen, shame will come. It might look as if, uh, 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 what are we doing here? But God has me to tell you. He has a plan for you this evening. Are you with me? You know, if God would not come for come true for you in that situation or the other, you know, shame is looming around you. This evening, I want you to lift your hand this afternoon. I mean, this evening, everyone. A young man might not be what I said. The Bible says, Woe to a man that said when God has not said. Miracle we go with someone here tonight. I don't know if you are the one, but I am the one. Just close your eyes and worship. In fact, you didn't have a favorite song. Just behold Jesus on the cross and lay it bare before him. No. No. Touch up your boss, say one more time. Oh, 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 oh
this evening. Hallelujah. If you have been standing for a while and you are tired, you can sit down and still worship. You can sit down and still worship. This song is a very common song. And one of my favorites. It explains how undescribable God is. Oftentimes we have attempted it to describe how great He is. But we are always speechless and short of words. Mm, I know we try to define you, attempted to describe you. It's hard to exemplify your worth. Mm, and then I call you great, for there's nobody greater. Sometimes I just should call upon your name, your name. For in your name there is safety and security And whosoever calls on you can be saved Oh God, your name has so much strength Your name alone is strong It's God Oh, you are God, you, you are God. There's no one else like you, Lord. You, you are God. Oh, only you are God, you are you. You are God. Come on, call him God, your God. God, my God. God, my God. You know why? Heaven. Pass away, but your name will remain, and everyone we declare that you are God. Yes, heaven and earth. Say you, you, you are a God, you, you, you are
find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody's great. Yeah. Nobody's great. Nobody's great and then you. All over the beauty. Hallelujah. Oh, I searched all alone. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. Nobody's great. Nobody's great. Nobody's greater than you. Is that your testimony? Nobody can heal like you can. Almost only one. You are the greatest I am. Awesome in all your ways. And mine is your end. You are he who carried out redemption plan. Everybody, search for no, could find no bar. I look high and low, still couldn't find no bar. Nobody, nobody great, nobody great, nobody greater than you. You know what? This is what we are saying. God, my God. And there is nobody greater than my God. And I don't serve any other God. Nobody greater. No, 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 no. No, no, nobody's great. Nobody's greater. Nobody's greater than you. Nobody's great, nobody's greater than you. Ah, son of a nobody's great, nobody, nobody's greater than you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. All right, please celebrate Pastor Dave, please. Go and see that. I will call you. <laughs> I know. You know, it's in the body. You can't hold it. And that particular song is a very good song that God gave to worship the king team. When I started the song, I saw him. Uh, he's, I don't know, he's a great man, one of the men of God. I respect so much with great humility and has the unction of God. You know, you know, of course, we can be niggas of God. We are very sure this one is a man of God and carries the grace of God. I'll say, bring him up. There's one more song before we go. I don't know, you might not be comfortable sitting down with this song. Just five minutes and I'll be out of here. Uh, I don't know if it was daddy or who was saying it recently, but you know. Daddy was okay, daddy was talking about God factor. When God comes through for someone, they make things so easy. And the way God will do it, it will be obvious to people that it was God. It will make sure that nobody around you takes glory for that. So that at the end of the day, people will not come around and say, if not because of me, he wouldn't have been where he is today. But that's human being. But I know a God that does not need human power 
to retain that name. He does not need human power to be called the God that we call him. Is God all by what? All by himself. Okay, let me shock you. Whether you like it or not, he is God. Whether you are broke or you have money, he is God. Whether I'm here or I'm not here, he is God. Either you had somebody close to you, was dead yesterday, was no more. What happened? It's still one, it's still God. Mighty God, I bless your name. Holy one, I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. Mm -hmm. That's who you are. God all by yourself. From age to age, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. You need no man, no man. You are God all by yourself. Yourself. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. You are God all by yourself. You are, you are God all by yourself, yourself, yourself. Yeah. For who you are, I bless your name, bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. For you are God. By yourself, by yourself, by yourself, you are God all by yourself. Hey, mighty God, come on, say, mighty God, I bless your name, I bless your name, holy one, holy one, I worship you, I worship you, hey, you are God all by yourself. God all by yourself, yourself, yourself. You are God all by yourself. Great Almighty God, from hate to age, to age, you're still the same. You're still the same. All of creation, all creation, we shout your name. We shout your name. For you are God. You are God. 